don't go away. There's one other. Uh, Ms. Patterson, uh, did you want to speak on this issue? Yeah, there you are. From the San Joaquin Tributary Authority. Hi, thank you Hi. for having us here. Um, initially, I'd like to echo everybody's comments. Joe, you're going to be seriously missed. And um, I haven't been around all that much, but similar to Mr. Knopp, the comments that I hear from other people, Agar and colleagues, they've just been glowing reviews of you, and thank you for everything you've done. Um, with, excuse me, with regard to this particular presentation, both of them, um, the Tributaries Authority, they would love to see um, water right, I guess, efficiency as far as an authority goes. However, with that carries due process implications, which is probably why a lot of it is slowed down. So as far as reforming any statutory enforcement authority, I guess that that would have to be noted as far as due process implications. And then regarding the second presentation, I do want to point out that um, I'm not sure, I don't see a page number, but this particular slide. That, that actually is a, a, a slight update of a chart. We've seen it at a couple of other council meetings. Uh, I think the earliest one was 2011, and we've had one update earlier this year. But that's the, I guess, a, a slightly revised number count. Okay. Um, well, then I would just question as far as the statements. These were referred to as both pre-1914 and riparian rights. Um, my understanding from the most recent presentation that I have seen um, the water master present here is that those are not, in fact, water rights. Um, they haven't been determined as water rights. I do understand that part of the Delta Water Master's authority is to investigate unlawful diversions and make determinations whether there are, in fact, unlawful or unlawful diversions. Excuse me. And um, I guess I would just ask whether those have, in fact, been determined as water rights because the last time that he was here, he did say that he was going to stop short of saying that they are water rights as far as it being <laughs> confusing and creating certainty in the Delta and that whole. Mr. Uh, Mr. Wilson, have you made a legal determination for the benefit of the in-Delta water users that they have water rights to the detriment and dismay of the San Joaquin Tributary Authority? Let, let me tell you what we, what we have done. Obviously, th this is a ch chart, so it kind of summarizes uh, you know, matters, and it's not meant to be a, a reflection of, of, of a determination of, of water rights uh, per se. A, a supplemental statement is basically a, a statement by anybody who's diverting water from a water course that they are diverting water, and in their statement they, they list a, a water right claim or, or use. Uh, What's exempted from people that don't have to file statements are people that already hold permits or licenses from the board. Uh, so everybody who's submitting this report, form is, is claiming that they have some type of water right in its most, uh, the typical ones are either riparian or pre-1914. But the statements program itself is not, not an individual case-by-case -case determination as to the validity of each of these uh, statements. And, and in fact, uh, the statements have been used to, to kind of look at, at some of these, these uh, water right validity questions where you have uh, a statement by a, a person who has a parcel uh, in an interior island of the delta, you know, shows that they're, they're diverting water, and uh, there's some question as to, and they claim a riparian right that, that throws into question the validity of that right, and we're working through a lot of those, those issues and questions to, to, to get to the bottom of whether or not the, the, the right is valid. But this chart itself... Uh, it's not, not a, an adjudication of the water right itself. Okay. Right, and I guess that's um, kind of where the confusion is stemming from as far as for all parties involved. So a diverter may think that they file a statement and, well, my job is complete. I have a water right. And part, so part I would of, just caution as far as using synonymously part, a statement. Part of Mr. Would, Wilson's uh, report points out that the laws as currently written essentially limit the ability of the water board to make meaningful and prompt decisions on such things as water rights, but you said there are due process concerns that you, you, you'd view skeptic, I'm sorry, you would view through the due process prism any request to change the water laws, but, and I understand why. I mean, you know, everybody's in favor of, of their rights being protected and other people's rights being questioned. Uh, I think that's kind of a human 
uh, ingredient, but we've certainly got an antiquated system and I, clumsy. I agree, and um, I would just say, you know, as far as referring to the statements as cumulatively as a water right in the legal delta, tallying that, that furthers the confusion and the uncertainty that is happening in the delta. So just going forward, it would be helpful, I think, to all parties involved to make sure that that isn't an adjudication, that isn't necessarily a water right, but it is a diversion. <laughs> Let me make one comment on the, the due process uh, question. Uh, if you read the, the uh, I actually have in my the report on water right authority, actually in bill form, the, the proposals, and most of them are patterned under, under uh, similar provisions in the Puerto Rico and Water Quality Control Act, many of which have been litigated and found to satisfy due process requirements. We, of course, are, are interested in due process as Due well. process is in right. the eye of the beholder, in my experience, but yes. Okay. yes. Right, and I'm not, I'm not here to suggest that they aren't considering due process. I just... <laughs> Perhaps okay. offering something that may be a reason why it does move so slowly, but we would be happy to see it move that faster. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Appreciate that very much. Uh, okay, uh, members, let's, we're going to take a five-minute break, and then we're going to move to a uh, U.S. EPA report. Uh, Mr. Bradley, you're ready to go, I think. Okay. So let's take a five-minute break. It is uh, 11 minutes after, so 16 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 16 minutes after, we're going to start. Nice.